malawimusic.com nimbo za chimalawi Hello everybody this is KYC and Samona Miso we are back with another edition of Malawi Music Podcast and today we have a special guest in the building he's called he's actually going to introduce him himself talk to the people here oh yeah. thank you um, my name is Michael Michael Perry but my musical name is Michael Mountain and I'm glad to be here you hear it for yourself. His name is Michael Mountain. Yeah, Michael Mountain is in the building. Okay, Michael, can you tell people who is mm-hmm. Michael Mountain? Well, Michael Mountain is a son of a chief living in Yatta Bay in the village, up in a small village, and a farmer and a musician. And I'm a married man with two kids. Oh, you're, you're a farmer and a musician? Yes, I am. How do you mix up those two things? Cause... Well, it's easy because um, every time I'm uh, at home, it's like in the morning I have, I have to like head to the field. Mm-hmm. But when I'm uh, in town, it's when I'm a musician because uh, I normally play in places where uh, there are guests coming out from afar, like um, England or Europe. Yeah. Okay, um, before we head to that, uh, first tell us about the, the name, your name, Michael Mountain. Uh, how do you come up with such a name, or, or is, is it your name that your parents gave you? Or? Oh, um, yeah, good question. Uh, my name is uh, Michael Mountain because I translated uh, Piri, which is my vernacular surname, into yeah. English, which is Mountain. Also, oh, your 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 real surname is, is Piri. Yeah. Uh, so you just translated it to to yeah. English as a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, it may be the first time for for maybe a lot of people out there to to actually hear about the name Michael Mountain. Yeah. Just give us an insight of your music career, your music journey. How you started? Uh, who you grew up listening to? Your inspiration. Okay. Well, uh, when I was a little kid, I loved my namesake Michael Jackson. Yeah. Uh, we used to play um, kind of like pop music and yeah. when I grew up I heard a song about uh, No Woman No Cry from Bob Marley, a reggae song yeah. and uh, that inspired me. But when I came to Malawi, because I grew up in Zambia, when I came to Malawi when I was trying to find out where I could find a guitar for myself. Yeah. So lucky enough uh, there was this uh, organization, UNICEF, that donated uh, guitars to a primary school in my home village. Yeah. Fortunately enough, I went there, they borrowed me the guitar. I told my wife that I'm heading into Catabay in these lodges to ask anyone who could like, give me a chance so I could play some of the songs that I used to compose while I was still in Zambia and while I was, I was here. Yeah. And since then, it's like now 11 years, and since then is when I linked up with people who would like to promote me. Yeah, and uh, that's how I can say my music career started playing music. So we would actually say you, you were born in, in Zimbabwe, I mean Zambia? Yes, I was born in Zambia in the Copper Belt. Your, your, your mom, your, your father are all from Zambia? No, my mom and my dad are from Malawi. You just went there? I was born there because my dad went to work there. Okay. Yes. So I'm a Malawian by blood, Zambian by blood. All right, all right. So you said uh, you started uh, using the key, you started singing, and then you you actually linked up with these guys who hooked you up? Yes. Who are those guys? Um, one of them is a guy from Sweden called uh, Matthias. And another guy who really is promoting me in my Malawi country is Morris. Morris. Yeah, Morris Mack from Germany. Mm. Yeah. Okay, it's like it's it's uh, a record label called Spare Dog Records. Yes, Spare Dog Records. When did they sign you? They signed me up in uh, 2015. So they've been promoting you up to now. Yes, uh, he's been promoting my first album. Uh, title track, Nowhere Else To Go, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a video. It's, I think it's on the media. You know, the people who observed it, I'm sure. People yeah. How many albums do you have? Currently, I only have one album. Nowhere to go. Nowhere else to go. And I recently recorded a single. I'm sure it'll be out very soon. Uh, what single is that one? Um, it's a song about a lady called Julie. Is that when you went to Don Foxy Records? Yes, Don Foxy Studio, that's where I recorded the, the song. Can you give an insight of, the, of, of this and release the song? An insight of what you mean? Uh, can you give more, more, about, the, the song, more yeah. about the song with, which you, you have just recorded, recorded. Yeah, okay. Fox, yeah. Well, the song is uh, something to do with a beautiful lady. Uh, I met a white lady in uh, Mallorca village. And, get a bit. and she told me to compose a song about it. So I said, all right, I'll do that. So in the song, it's like I'm complimenting her, her, her beautifulness. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's like I um, imagine that I married this woman. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm a married man. Yeah. So yeah. it's like I just imagine I married this woman. So I just decided to write some lyrics. Like, uh, there's a secret between you and me. Okay, uh, yeah. that white lady that you're talking about, is yeah. she one of the guys that promotes you? No, she, she isn't. She isn't? No, she isn't. Okay, okay uh, take us back to, the, to, the, to your album. You say you, you released uh, one album. Yeah. What's the name of the album? And the title track of the album is No One's To Go. No One's To Go. 12 tracks. Okay, um, tell us more about the album, uh, its concept. How, how did you come up with the album, the inspiration behind it? Well, the inspiration normally comes, I compose about what's around me. Yeah. Um, by then, why well, I said Nowhere Else To Go, the title track of my song should be Nowhere Else To Go, of my album, and so on. It's because by then, I had Nowhere Else To Go. Yeah. But uh, I have somewhere where to go now. And uh, there's a song about how big is the lake. I believe most um, Malawian musicians never compose a song about Lake Malawi, so I did. Yeah. And people don't know that Lake Malawi is a calendar. Yeah, yeah. I know that Lake Malawi is a calendar because it's 365 miles in length and 52 miles in width. All right, okay, cool. I hear you said you do right course internationally. Yeah. Due to this coronavirus pandemic, how are you? managing your life as a music as making money with right concert and how are you supporting your family? Well, I was, I was like uh, really sad to hear about the coronavirus because yeah. that's what blocked me to head to South Africa to perform. Yeah. So me and my family, we're protecting ourselves and uh, we normally um, abide to the regulations that we hear on the radio because in my area there's no electricity the only uh, media I have there is a radio yeah so like where I, you come from? yes you haven't told the people where you come from maybe it's a ton of what's going to do it's safe from Katabe oh from Katabe I come from Katabe oh okay. yeah typically in the village alright yeah, so. okay you said you said you do farming you do farming what kind of farming do you farming you um, do? subsistence farming alright okay. yes sir not commercial. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So you say you, you are saying uh, you, you you perform in so many concerts. Yeah. Where and where have you? Uh, have not you actually been? concerts, yeah. but just like uh, invitive um, um, shows where like I go to entertain people. Mm -hmm. Like Morris Mack, I went to entertain him at his wedding in Milongwe. Oh, and, who was uh, that? Morris Mack. My friend that is promoting me. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I went to his wedding and uh, he was very grateful for my performance there. All right. Yes. Um, I've, I've, I've actually listened to some of your tracks and, mm -hmm. I, and I noted that you, you, you specifically used the English language. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why do you do that? Or, or are you just focusing international? Well, I, I do that because uh, I was brought up uh, with English 
yeah. in Zambia. I went to a school called Sacred Heart Convent School. So since my childhood, I used to speak English. I had a lot of white friends, well-to-do black friends. Yeah. I was not a well-to-do black person in my family, but my dad was a cook for the managing director of the exhibition office. So he uh, took me to a, a very good school. Yeah. So that's why I feel the most fluent language I can compose is English. But I tried to uh, compose a song in Tonga. Yeah. Yes. I tried to compose a song. How about Tumbuka? Tumbuka, no. That's my wife's uh, language. Yeah. Have you ever tried to compose a song in, in Chichewa? Uh, not really, but I feel I can do that if I I sit down with somebody who could like write it down. Alright. Yeah, but I think my accent in really, singing in Chichewa, people would think it's a, a white person singing <laughs> and I'm an African. <laughs> what what language do the Zambians speak? Uh, they speak Chiwemba. Chiwemba. Have, yeah. Have you ever composed a, a Chiwemba song? No, I haven't. So you're only good with the with the English songs. Yes, I think uh, that's my field. All right. Yeah. Uh, tell us more about where where can people get your songs? To which platforms are they available? Well, um, mostly on um, any digital platform on the internet, uh, like. Uh, Spotify, yeah. yeah, YouTube. All right, yeah. So, do you just give out the songs for free, or you also sell them sometimes? Um, I mostly give my songs out there so that I can like earn a little income. Yeah, right. so they're for for sale. For sale. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. What's What's your dream as a musician? What's your dream as a musician in terms of your music? Well, that's a good question. Um, I like the compliments of some of my friends on Facebook. And they, they stating that uh, I'm Malawian Bob Marley. But, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I sound like an English person, but uh, I feel I'd like to be just Michael Mountain. Yeah. yeah, a good international musician from Malawi, the warm heart of Africa. Okay, how old are you by the way? I'm 49. 49. Yeah. Do you think you can still perform? Like that concert? Like, like that concert? Very, I can. I can. Even for more than two hours. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I can also see that you're a Rastafarian. Yeah. <laughs> to, yes. to, to which category of a Rastafarian are you in? Because I understand there are some that do not eat meat yeah uh, and then some do take meat yeah beer and stuff like that uh, well um i'm a non-vegetarian rastafarian right. because uh, i read a verse in the bible that jesus christ said jesus christ I mean, jesus christ is like sort of jamaican butlers yeah um, he said it's not what you take yeah. that defiles you but what comes out all right yeah so if i eat meat i don't vomit it's my food. But yeah. if those Rastafarians who don't like meat, it's their choice. I have my choice. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, growing dreadlocks, I'm sure I'm the black sheep in the family. Because yeah. uh, my dad is a staunch Christian. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up with a Christian um, kind of uh, behavior. Yeah. And uh, I found out that I'm the black sheep. So. They actually did not accept you having the dreadlocks. Yeah, he cut my hair three times. <laughs> <laughs> actually, as a Rastafarian, do you smoke weed? I used to smoke, but I don't smoke uh, nowadays. Alright. Mm. All right. Anyway, uh, before maybe <clears throat> we close this, this, this podcast, mm -hmm. you might have a few words to the people that's watching us out there. Yeah. So this is a platform you can you can, uh -huh. you can voice out. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm very grateful for um, Sean to bring me here and my friend uh, Maurice yeah. because uh, I'd like people to know me. Maybe when I sing, people don't believe I'm from Malawi. Yeah. 
because uh, my accent sounds English. So it's all because of my school background. But what I'd like to say to the people out there, if you hear about Michael Mountain, be my uh, subscribers, find my music on the internet, and I'll be very grateful because if I have a thousand subscribers, you've made me a millionaire. Thanks. Exactly. So you hear it for yourself out there. Support the guy, support Michael Mountain. That's what we had today in the podcast. You were with me, KYC, and my colleague. I'm gonna be so. Until next time.